Hi guys and welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you guys are absolutely fine out there. This is a totally new content for the video which is belongs to a reproductive system. In this video we will discuss about the female gonadal hormones which is estrogen, anti-estrogen, progestin and antiprogestin. It is not possible to present all the hormone in the same video that's why I have divided into three separate parts. This is a part one of female gonadal hormone in which we will completely discuss about the estrogen only and in remaining part we will discuss about the remaining hormones. So in this entire video we will totally present the classification of estrogen, preparation of estrogen, uses of estrogen, adverse effects, contraindication of estrogens and last questions related to this topic. Also we will add the uses in brief description in which we will discuss about the replacement therapy which is also known as HRT including its introduction, indication risks, and a pharmacotherapy. So, without any further delay, let's go to our intro and start our topic. Hello, Namaste, Ola Priviyat viewers. Welcome to my channel, Med Gossip SD. I am Subhas. The main objective of this channel is we bring basic medical and clinical science topics, explanation with the related diagrams much as possible, and frequently asked exam oriented questions of that related topic so make sure you hit that red button of subscription and the bell icon so that you could never miss the updates so estrogens Classification of estrogens. Estrogen is mainly classified into two types. They are natural estrogen and synthetic estrogen. Now let's see what includes in natural estrogen. Natural estrogen includes beta estradiol, which is a most potent estrogen. Next we have estrone and the next is estriol. Now let's see estrogen which falls in synthetic group. Synthetic group of estrogen is classified further into two parts steroidal like and non steroidal like in steroidal like the synthetic estrogen includes ethanyl estradiol mistranol and tibolene in non steroidal synthetic the estrogen includes like diethyl stilbestrol hexestrol and dinestrol so guys i have said that beta estradiol is the most potent estrogen let me add something important point on this topic Beta estradiol is a synthesized in graphene follicles and corpus luteum of ovary and in placenta. Uh, natural estrogens are inactive orally and have a short duration of action due to rapid metabolism in liver. To overcome this, synthetic compounds have been produced. So, we have finished the classification. Now, let's continue from preparation of this hormone. I have divided into five different preparations. Number A, we have estradiol benzoate or siponate or ethanate or valerate they are given intramuscularly or IM. Number B we have conjugated estrogens which is available in oral form. Next we have dinestrol it is available in topical route which is given from vagina. Next we have phosphestrol tetrasodium which is available intravenously and oral form both and the last is mestranol it is available only in the oral route so uh, let's talk about uses of estrogens estrogens by this method artificially are mainly used in two therapies they are replacement therapy and pharmacotherapy so we will discuss this both therapy in details later so let's uh, leave this here and uh, first, let's discuss contraindication and the adverse effect of estrogens. So, now let's talk about the adverse effect of estrogens. Please note down all this information is collected from my personal MBBS notes from professors and from the standard international medical books. So, you can use these answers in the exam paper with full confidence if it the exam is in subjective form. So, adverse effect are in female, the minor effects are seen like nausea vomiting, breast tenderness, weight gain, and breakthrough bleeding. If you guys don't know what is breakthrough bleeding, 
let me tell you breakthrough bleeding is a bleeding between menstrual cycles now let's see the major adverse effect in females some of the major adverse effect are increased risk of endometrial carcinoma thromboembolism worsening of migraine and endometriosis if the patient have any one of these then in growing females the adverse effect can be seen as early epiphyseal fusion of bone and short status may occur now let's see in males in males we can see it decreases libido it decreases gynecomastia and it decreases feminization now let's see the contraindication of estrogens some of the important common contraindicated cases of estrogens are in males we may face loss of libido gynecomastia feminization in children the contraindicated thing is early fusion of epiphysis leading to short status in pregnancy we can see especially in first trimester it increases of vagina and cervical carcinoma in post menopausal women case increased risk of endometrial carcinoma next we have thromboembolic disorders number 6 contraindication is breast tumors next contraindication is acute liver disease next we have severe hypertension next we have migraine then endometriosis then diabetes mellitus and the last gallbladder disease so i have mentioned a lot of contraindication so for exam or test you don't need to remember all the things just remember 5 to 7 contraindication and write down according to the required marks if your test is in subjective way or subjective pattern so we have finished the important topics on estrogens like classification adverse effect contraindication and uses i have told you earlier just a few minutes ago that we will discuss the uses of estrogens in detail one by one so now let's discuss these two uses which is replacement therapy and pharmacotherapy so viewers i have no idea how my presentation is making you understand the content or not also my audio and video quality is understandable to you or not please comment down how it's going till now so that i could find my weakness and improve in an upcoming videos and if you are new here please consider subscribing and those who are already a subscriber thank you so much for supporting because we are near from 1000 plus family so let's stop this thing here for now and let's describe the two therapy one by one in details so guys replacement therapy this is commonly known as hormone replacement therapy or in short form hrt In this therapy estrogen is used in lower dose than that of dose of contraception. Progestin may be added mainly to reduce the risk of endometrial carcinoma or dysfunctional uterine bleeding DUB. HRT can be used either cyclically which is 3 weeks treatment and 1 weeks gap or continuously with added progestin on later days of each month. In case of hysterectomy done patients no need to add progestin as no risk of carcinoma of endometrium is retained. and the next point is it should be used at smaller or smallest effective dose and for the shortest duration so now let's talk about indication in replacement therapy it is indicated in three main cases they are number one is menopausal woman number two premature ovarian failure and number three gonadal dysgenesis so let's talk something little uh, description in menopausal woman case to overcome short and long term complication of estrogens deficiency which are as follows to reduce vasomotor symptoms like hot flushes and genital atrophy to prevent osteoporosis and to prevent cardiovascular risks it is contraindicated so viewers if i start explaining all this term in details then the video will be too long so instead you can comment down below or go through a medical dictionary if there is any confusion in medical terms but as much as possible i have tried to tell all the meanings uh, in the middle of the videos which is not understandable so guys let's talk about the risks that may we can face number 1 when estrogen is used alone then the endometrial cancer and gallbladder disease may cause next condition is when combined estrogen and progestin is used then breast cancer may occur venous thromboembolic disease may occur and dementia or alzheimer disease may cause so the adverse drug reaction is similar to estrogen of this replacement therapy which we have already discussed few minutes ago now guys the next therapy is pharmacotherapy 
Pharmacotherapy is done in oral contraception, senile vaginitis, vulvovaginitis, acne, hirucetum, Turner's syndrome, delayed puberty in girls, dysfunctional uterine bleeding, and the carcinoma of prostate in males. So we have come to the last part of the video which is question list that may ask regarding this topic. Some of the possible questions are classify estrogens, mention the adverse effect, contraindication and uses of estrogens, explain replacement therapy or hormone replacement therapy, what are the risks that may appear in replacement therapy and write down some condition in which pharmacotherapy is used. Thank you for making me a part of a day. Like the video if you did, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and the part 2 which is progesterone and part 3 which will be of anti-estrogen will be uploaded soon. So don't forget to hit that bell icon so that you could get notified first after I successfully uploaded of the main part. So see you soon in the next part 2. Stay happy, stay blessed, may God see you Adios.